up guys thanks for tuning into another video Kara from Case Ways here if you're new and on this channel I like to inspire you to do it your way K squad I hope everybody out there is doing well it's been a minute um, this is the week after Mother's Day but this is like the first year in a long time I realized that I never posted on my YouTube community tab for Mother's Day so I hope you all if you are mothers or you have your mother still here with you I hope you guys enjoyed that day as you read from the title we're doing another haul again I will be back to update you guys on tons of things I have tons of speed reviews that I want to share with you guys but I am so sick and tired of these boxes sitting here that's behind me guys so I think it's time to do a haul and then we'll get into all the reviews and things coming up because my empties basket is overflowing that deal will be coming soon I need to change out the, my drawers for the summertime as you can see I am bare face because yo once it gets hot I don't want nothing on my face like I like light skincare you see the glowy skin I got on my sunscreen I have my, my sunglasses actually because I just came from picking up the kids from school but we will be headed out shortly I'm actually about to cook dinner and then we'll be going to my son's football practice so that's why I'm just in my mom gear t-shirt shorts it's hot guys and I don't like nothing on my face but I still want to do this haul so if you want to know what I got I have some PR things I have some things from Sephora I have some things that I purchased from Ulta and a couple of other random things as well so if you want to see all the things that I picked up in the last few weeks to a month or whatever however many times since my last haul go ahead and continue watching don't want to take it slow just want to let you know ready to spend some time i want to spend some time okay i have an online order here and then i also have two bags from sephora i'm just gonna place those there for now this order basically consisted of like fragrance items but i do have one makeup item in here so this is the new say slip tint radiant all over concealer i picked mine up in the shade 19 and opening up this concealer i'm trying to remember did i even use this as of yet because a lot of this stuff has been here for some time but that's what the say concealer looks Actually, I did use this. Looking at this wand, I do remember using it because this wand is it's kind of stiff. Like lately, I've been into like the Tower 28 concealer, my jam. That thing is nice and bendy and smooth. This is very stiff. It doesn't bend, so that's what kind of threw me off with this concealer. I do need to use it a little bit more before I can even tell you if I liked it or not. I don't even remember the way. I just <laughs> remember just from seeing that hard, stiff <laughs> um, applicator, but. I'm going to try this on in a video coming soon and I'll share my thoughts with you guys. Then I picked up three of the floor scents. I still haven't gotten my hands on vanilla skin, but I feel like I'm not really, now that it's warmer, I'm not really reaching for my vanilla scents as much. I do. I still do at nighttime most of the time. Like if it's a cooler night, like we're not fully into summer yet, but we have been heating up. So I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to spring and summer. So I picked up their... I guess this is like their spring summer collection so this is floor mango mood and on here they do have the notes um like the writing is dark on that one so i won't be able to read it maybe i will put it up on the screen but for mango mood i've been using this quite a bit if you can see a little bit of the usage there the notes in mango mood it says it's a fruity scent and the notes include base current pink pepper and mango there's other notes here, but again, um, I have my contacts in, so the writing is kind of small. I will try to put them up on the screen so you guys can read along. I've mixed this. Oh, actually, wait. Before I get into that, shout out to my son for getting me, for Mother's Day, the Yara. I think this one is a uh, Tous, T-O-U-S, or Tau. I'm not sure how you say it, but I got the orange Yara, and I've been mixing it with that. And that's a nice, heavenly combination. Shout out to Dejan for hooking his mama up with that from her Amazon list that I had sent back in I think for Christmas I had sent that Amazon list so he went ahead and revisited that and got that for me so I've been mixing the mango mood with that I've also layered it with my Bath and Body Works uh, what is it called mango madness golden mango lagoon I've been using it with this as well so I was really excited about the mango but I also did pick up the other two scents this one I actually wore yesterday I wore this one about twice actually and this one is moonstone the notes in Mango Mood, it says it's a fruity scent and the notes include base current, pink pepper, and mango. There's other notes here, but again, um, I have my contacts in, so the writing is kind of small. I will try to put them up on the screen so you guys can read along. Moonstone is also a fruity, fruity scent, but it's, they describe it as a fruity floral. To me, these are all like fruity, tropical kind of scents. 
when it comes to Moonstone, the top notes is green apple, pineapple, and black currant. So that um, green apple thing, I, if I'm not mistaken, I did layer this with my brown sugar babe bonita apple bomb. And then this last one here is dragon fruit. This one I got the least amount of use. I'm just not a pink person like that. But I did. Did I lay this the other day? I think I might have laid this the other day with um, the Angel Nova, if I'm not mistaken. But this one is also described as a fruity floral. Their top notes is pineapple, dragon fruit, and watermelon. So actually, I might actually go ahead and layer this with the Dulce and Gabbana Lay in and Patrice. I've been trying out different combinations with these floor scents. Now these are not like your average body spray. To me like the Bath and Body Works, I don't want to say juvenile but these are just like a notch up, like a luxury version. They last longer. They actually project a little bit more like closer to more like a fragrance than a body mist kind of thing. So I like these floor mists so far. Also, which I'm wearing today, uh, in that order, this is why I actually placed the order. KLE had dropped the vanilla candy rock sugar scent so you guys if you can see the bottle you can tell i've definitely been using quite a bit of it i'm already down to hair i've layered this with quite a bit of things i actually have it on today layered with the bath and body Works sweetheart cherry and i smell good guys i smell good it's not that's a a decent combination i'm not trying to go too hard or too heavy like i said it is a nice sunny day it's hot so i think the warmth from this sweetness it definitely works good in this type of weather so I've been enjoying this. Again, you see I've used quite a bit of it. I definitely wanted to get my hands on the new KLE scent. And I was happy that they had it in the little mini size bottle. So, And that was it for the order. But I did go into Sephora on two separate occasions. This one is the first time I went into Sephora. I picked up a couple of things. This is when I actually went to return. What did I return? Wait, let me look at this. Oh, that... um. The Give Beauty, remember I picked up the blush instead of the lip, the lip product that I wanted. When I went back, I didn't even want the lip product anymore, which was crazy. So instead, I went ahead and got the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Color Corrector. I've been wanting to try this color corrector for a while. Because at times, like, I, I will forget to wear it. And I like having color correctors in the concealer type form. Because I feel like I would just reach for it a little bit more. So I picked up the Papaya, I was about to say scents. The papaya color and it's like that orangey peachy kind of vibe which is going to be nice to color correct all these darkness the darkness that you see <laughs> underneath my eyes and around my mouth you know i do color correct sometimes so i wanted to give that a try and then the sephora collection actually drops uh some newer items and i should have got these during the sale i was going back and forth with this bronzer this is the sephora bronzer this is their matte bronzer I picked mine up in the shade 03 Retreat. So that is what number three looks like. And I think that is a decent shade. Like holding it close to the ring light, it kind of overexposes it. But if you can see it back here, this is a pretty good bronzing color, I think. I swatched them in the stores and that's what 03 looks like on my skin. So I think that'll be a nice bronzer. And then also from the Sephora collection, I went ahead and picked up their Nourishing and Repairing Coconut Extract Hand Balm. Always good to have a nice um, moisturizer on deck. So, wanted to pick that up. And then lastly, in this bag, oh, <laughs> I actually picked up two more scents. But also, oh, sorry, there's something else from the Sephora collection in this bag. I went ahead and picked up just a travel set of the Sephora Hydrate and Cleansing Wipes because I was planning to go to North Carolina. So, I wanted to have some mini cleansing wipes. So, this is a pack of 10 and it was like $4.50. So I wanted to pick that up. And then lastly, So De Janeiro actually released two of their new... Well, they actually released three. I only picked up two. And these were the last two of each of these. But the third scent, which I wasn't a fan of, it smelled really artificial to me. So I didn't pick that one up. All three, like the whole display for that one was still there. So I guess people are sharing the same sentiments as me. But I did smell these in store. Uh, this one is Be Bejos de Sol. And this has notes of... Notes of peach skin, coconut milk, and I don't know what kind of plant that is, but some kind of petals. And then this one is Cariosa Crush, which has notes of crisp pear, pink violet, and white cedar wood. So I definitely did get the pear in this. This was a nice, pretty pear, though, like really bright pear. Not every pear I gel with, 
but I think this is paired done right. So I definitely wanted to get my hands on these two Sol de Janeiro sets. Speaking of Sol de Janeiro, since that's like a nice segue into it, I did pick this up. I didn't buy it from Sephora. I actually ordered mine from the Sol de Janeiro website, but they had this set that came out with many of their, I guess like their, it's their perfume mist discovery set, but to me it's like some of my favorite scents from them. You guys already know how I feel about number 59, absolute fave. Of course, number 62 is an OG favorite for me. That's what started my love with Sol de Janeiro to begin with. Number 68, I actually have one of these in the smaller size, so I started using it more often now, being that I know I have a backup, because it's this size, like they're dumb small. And I'll show you a size comparison in a second. And number 87, I've actually, I don't think I've ever smelled number 87, so I'm excited about that one. Number 40, that first initial one, which is the Cheriosa 40, not my favorite. Actually, my daughter likes it, so I'm lucked out that I can give her that one, and then I'll keep the other four for myself. So my number 59, I got the big size. This is their 8 ounce. This is 3 fluid ounces, but the ones that come in that set are this small one, which would be probably one fluid ounce I'm guessing yeah one fluid ounce so we have the one fluid ounce the three fluid ounce and then the eight ounce there so you can see the difference in the sizes and I'm am I right about eight ounce yeah 8.1 fluid ounces so you see the difference in the sizes of the perfume sets so you get small little bottles but trust me these do go a long way and they last a long time so I love Sol de Janeiro definitely wanted to get my hands on that set all right <laughs> I'm back I told y'all I'm cooking at the same time I'm doing this, so now's a good time to actually put that um, the Sephora lotion to use. But I placed the order with the Fenty Beauty website instead because they was offering a good old freebie that I just could not miss out on. So of course the Fenty packaging, the famous Fenty packaging. I just love how they have the whole graffiti Fenty skin thing going on. And I did pick up not one but two of her new. Demi Glow Light Diffusing Highlighters. I picked up these shades. I have Rich Honey and I have Yum Rum. So I could not decide which one I wanted to go for. So in true camera for sure. And I think I had to place like a certain dollar amount to get the freebie that I did get. So it only made sense being that I was undecided. I was like, you know what? Let me just get both. But this is the packaging. Y'all know. Fenty and their seven. I think that's a hexagon. <laughs> so, um, again, this is Rich Honey. These feel so smooth. I haven't used these on the face as of yet, but this is what Rich Honey looks like right there. Like, oh my goodness, you know, y'all know I love a good highlight. So I'm here for this. I did not get the new foundation that she came out with, only because bare face like i have not been wearing foundation when i go to work i wear powder foundations actually the fenty foundation is like my number one go-to foundation that i do reach for the powder foundation that she has so i didn't buy the new one this next one is yum rum let me show you what they look like side by side so you can see the difference in the shade so one is a little bit more pinkier this is a uh, yum rum is a little bit more on the peachy side where Rich Honey is more on the golden side. And then let me swatch Yum Rum. I'm going to swatch Yum Rum right here above it. Oh, yeah. So it's like a cooler tone gold. Like a cooler tone gold. Not so. It doesn't come across so much as peachy. Well, yeah, I can see a little bit of the pinky peachness of that highlighter, but... I probably like Yum Rum more than I prefer the other one. Usually, us brown skin girls, we like the gold. But I'm not, like, huge on gold highlighters. But I just couldn't decide. They both look good. So, I'm excited about those. And speaking of the freebie, I was able to get the three-piece set. That was the holiday set that came out with the three Fenty Skin, the Butter Drops. So, you guys know I live for Butter Drop. Um, can you see? No, you can't see that part of the room. But, uh, I'm going to turn y'all over a little bit. Like, y'all see, I have three backups and then my Fenty skin. Like, really, really love the Butter Drop. The only thing, I never got full sizes of the it's Warm Cinnamon Shimmering and Vanilla Dream Shimmering because they're shimmering. And I'm not one that likes little particles <laughs> on my skin. <laughs> but it is it does come in handy for the summertime. And plus, that Vanilla Dream, oh my God, the smell of it is amazing. But... I opened these and smelled these and I kind of see why they was free. I think that the scents are like leaving. So, what? 
I only smelled the warm cinnamon inside stores. I had never, you know, had it myself. Oh no, I smell the hint of cinnamon, but it also smells like plain, like almost like kind of play doughy. So I feel like these are probably going bad, and that's why they're giving them away for free. And I was right there to pick it up. <laughs> so vanilla dream, though. This vanilla smell. It's not as potent as I remember it being. And I remember the year that it came out, I bought it, I bought the full size. And those particles, I was like scared with my contacts. I just didn't want no issues. So I ended up taking it back. And I always regretted it. Because when I bought the vanilla sweet cream, that smells really good. But there's something about this. It's just like a nice light vanilla. It smells really good, guys. So um, that was my freebie with the purchase of the two highlighters. So... That's why I ended up ordering directly from the Fenty website. Let's get into the Ulta bag. It's huge, but yo, there's literally like barely anything in here. <laughs> so I did pick up a travel size of the original Power Grip Primer. Again, I was going to North Carolina, so I wanted to get a travel size product. I usually use the one with niacinamide, but I wanted to try the original Power Grip out. But at Ulta, I also picked up two of the NYX Buttermilk buttermilk bronzers i picked up two shades i have the shade uh number seven and number eight these are the two deepest shades that was on the display and i did swatch them in stores but i will swatch it for you here as well i didn't swatch the blushes though i also spoiler alert <laughs> i picked up two of the blushes as well but the shades on these bronzers just similar to like the shades in the sephora bronzers i'm not feeling the shade selections that they've been bringing out which is why I ended up with two hair. Like, I was able to swatch the Sephora ones in store. And that's why I was able to determine which one I wanted. But, you know, Ulta don't be having testers like that. So, I think I just said I swatched it. I'm lying. I did not swatch these in store now that I think about it. And that's how I ended up with the two shades. I'll tell you one thing. These are going to be held open. I'm not going to want to reach for these just for the simple fact of opening. Oh my gosh, I can't. I cannot struggle with this right now. I will open them at a later time and I will <laughs> I will insert swatches here. But then also for the butter melt blushes, I picked up two of those. So I have number 10 back and forth. And I have number 11 better, better than before. So I don't know if this shade actually matches what's inside the packaging. Again, I'm, I don't think I'm going to try to open these. Oh, that was easy for the blush. Okay, so number 10 back and butter i'm back and i'm butter i won't do that let's put this one here that is like woo, potent okay okay i'm looking on the monitor that is like a berry orange on the monitor it's coming up more ready but it's like a nice berry shade really pretty okay and then butter than before am i gonna have as much luck with this let's see. okay butter than before Let's see what this is swatching like. So this is, they swatch really smooth too. So that one is more on the pinky side. Like a pinky, a fuchsia pink kind of color. So I'm excited about those. Let me see, can I open these blushes? These bronzers, give me a second. Oh shoot, I have a box from Ulta down there too. I totally forgot about, that's crazy. All right, we'll get into that in a minute. But I did open the bronzers. I have 08 and 07. So this is 08, butter than you. <laughs> butter than you butter than you oh so that's the butter oh that is deep and chocolate hey okay and then um number seven butter days let's use the pinky butter days is gonna be swatched right next to it and that is definitely more on the ready tone but look how like smooth the swatches is like there's no skipping no patching and they go all the way through so i'm thinking that a little bit on your brush will go a long way with these really excited to put these to the test i'm gonna go ahead and scoot down to this ultra box because i totally forgot i even had an ultra box so what's in here oh okay i should have known the reason i picked up that power mist thing is because they came out with the power mist the Power Grips Dewy Setting Spray, and I definitely wanted to try that out, so I wanted to go hand in hand with that. That was another reason why I picked up that um, mini primer. Super excited about the setting spray from e.l.f. Also in here, oh, I was mad excited when I seen that MAC came out with some new, it's the Pro Brow Definer, and they brought back all of our favorite colors. Remember like Stud and, um, what was the other one? Stud and Spike. Stud and Spike was my jam, so I did pick up Spike 
spiked again because this is the diva of the two so i'm super excited to try their new pencils their new brow pencil also here i have the maybelline super slick brow glue wanted to give that a try from the drugstore side so excited about that it'll be nice to have a nice drugstore op option for my brows i got Y'all know Ulta gives the best freebies, so I have this little pouch from Victor and Rolf. It was like one of them, you didn't have to buy nothing from the brand type deal, but they gave you like a freebie set. So, in here, there's this little puff like that I can attach to like a purse and my keys, something like that. And then I also have the two mini flower bombs. I have Tiger Lily and then I have the new... Um, Tiger Lily is the new one and then I have a mini Ruby Orchid which you guys know I have a full size of that for the Tiger Lily I do have a um, travel spray of it and I sprayed it I had a combo I can't remember the combo that I put together with that but I really like Tiger Lily as a matter of fact I really like all of the um, flower bomb flankers not really a fan of the original flower bomb but I thought these little minis were so cute so I couldn't pick up pass up I think it's like called the lunch break deals or something like that where you have a certain amount of hours to order and then they'll include that in your order so I definitely placed the order for that I did get this um from elite thermal brush I love the from brushes but um as you see I've been getting my hair blown out and I'm like I need to do this at home myself so I thought this brush would kind of help me I'm kind of scared to use it but I need to try it out and go back to my not spending money every two weeks to get my hair done last but not least in this ultra order I wanted to pick up the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk big big lip plump gasms this is the pillow talk medium deep shade this is the one with the big you know gaudy packaging that I just couldn't resist <laughs> so that's what that looks like and this is in again pillow talk medium deep and i have not tried this as of yet so y'all are gonna see how it looks on my lips right now okay i'm not mad at it this might be a nice quick throw on type deal and let me see if it starts like being intense on my lips but so far so good i do feel a little bit of mintiness it's like a cooling effect but it's becoming more intense as time passes by so let's see how much i can tolerate that i do have a couple of items in pr Shout out to Kiss. They always look out for your girl. So they have a new collection. This is the Last Couture Rebel Voluminous Shaggy Faux Mink Effect. And I have not opened up these lashes as of yet. Let's see what we're working with. I always love like their advertising. But again, this is their Rebel Lash Couture Collection. Oh, okay. I can rock with these. These look not too out there because you guys know i don't like like super fluttery oh but these are pretty vibing okay the first ones i showed you was volume up those look like it'll give nice volume vibing is not doing the most oh this one is nice too main character i love a, a lash that starts off like small in the inner corner and flares out at the end so that's what main character is giving me love that um this one's this one is called smudge like these are the ones that I would probably end up giving to like my friends and stuff. Oh, this one is nice. Rockstar. Rockstar. These are nice and more natural. This is like the most natural out of the group that I'm showing you guys. And then last but not least, these are also ones that's like a little bit more on the extra side. But these are called Downtown Girl. Really pretty lashes though. They look nice and lightweight and fluttery. And one thing about Kiss Lashes, like the band is so thin and easy and pliable to put on your lip. On your lips to apply to your lashes so i'm excited about that and they also hook your girl up with some more lash glue i usually like to use the black one but lashes like i prefer the pen liner that they make because it just makes it so easy for me to put it on i draw like a wing i mean draw like along my lash line and then i just pop my lash on one two three but shout out to kiss really pretty collection and thank you guys for sending that over to me also from Kiss, like I was super surprised they sent it. The, I got both of these in the same day, y'all. So I was super surprised because you know you just never know when you're gonna get something. So let's see what we're working with. This is the new natural. This is like all about they know your girl loves some natural lashes. So oh, but this is like oh, I think these are like half lashes, right? So effortless minimal look. I know a lot of people have been going for like the half lashes. And even myself, like those lashes that I showed you before where they're longer, sometimes I would cut them in half and make two lashes. 
and just apply it just like on the outer corner of my lash so basically the half lashes that's what you can do so these look like nice and natural and I'm a natural girl so these would probably be more of my speed the next one is called freckles same kind of situation half lash this is a full lash this is called gold hoops and that's what they're given like they're given big gold hoops for lashes okay like that and then also in here we have silver ring these look super natural but would be perfect just to pop on like for our everyday kind of look so i think i will be getting more use out of this natural collection more than the other one i like them both but the natural is just geared towards people like me then this one is called white t-shirt of course you throw in your white tee some lashes a red lip and you are good to go and then they also have these little clusters but these clusters actually um require lash glue so don't get it confused with the other product that they have these actually do require lash glue and then they also supplied some lash glue to make sure that i can apply my lashes so yeah here we go again the new natural thanks so much kiss for looking out for your girl sending those over and being able to share it with my case squad one last thing that I did get in PR and I will be shooting a little reel on over on my TikTok. So that information will be down in the description box below. But can you believe that all these years I have never tried the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup? So this is their foundation, infamous foundation. Like I've heard about it for years and you know me as a dry skin girl, I've never really purchased it because I felt like it was going to be more matte. But to help me out with that, they also gave me the Double Wear Smooth and Blur Primer. So I'm excited to try both of these products and see what if, see what the hype is about because I've always wanted to try it. I just never pulled the trigger. So I'm so happy that Estee Lauder went ahead and sent this over. I picked my foundation. I was able to choose my shade and I picked the shade Maple, which is 5 and 1.5. So definitely stay on the lookout um i'll post that over here on youtube as well when i go ahead and post it on tiktok but definitely follow me over there because you may see it there first i'm gonna start the whole here the last box that's here on the floor is bath and body work stuff but i'm not gonna hold that stuff i'm gonna go ahead and finish up my dinner so that we can go ahead and get out of there and go to football practice but guys if you enjoyed this video let me know by giving it a thumbs up definitely let me know if you tried any of the products that i've picked out let me know your thoughts on them. Uh, let me know what you want to see next. I have, I'm going to film, uh, try new makeup with, I don't want to say high end because not everything I have is high end, but like Sephora, that kind of addition. And then I also want to do like a drugstore kind of version as well since I've been picking up stuff from the drugstore too. So, excuse the noise out there. <laughs> Like I said earlier in the video, we're going to be going through these drawers, making sure I'm able to go ahead and switch some things out. I'll share my thoughts with you guys on some current favorites that I have going on. So lots of content to come. Definitely subscribe if you're interested in beauty and lifestyle stuff, that kind of thing. Take a look. I have playlists. I have older videos that you guys can check out. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. K-Squad, as always, thanks so much for tuning in to another video. It is always greatly appreciated. I love talking to you guys. I love that you enjoy the things that I enjoy, like beauty and lifestyle. So if you enjoy that too and you're not already subscribed, definitely go ahead and hit that red subscribe button that's underneath this video. While you're down there, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I hope to catch each and every one of you in the next video. Until next time, y'all. Stay blessed. Later, guys.